has to come back down But I ain't never coming back Once my feet leave the ground Newton's law of gravity Someday I will defy When Christ comes back I'm gone
to hide in the blood of Jesus, Satan can't get to you. He can't get through that blood. The blood is the shield of protection that we have. This song was written by my brother Mark Piper, who you met earlier. It's entitled, Hiding in the Blood.
us tonight because we are all here because of him. He is great and worthy of our praise, and we're here to uplift Jesus, to lift him and to praise his holy name because he is worthy of our praise. Let's sing it together. Then sings my soul.
that's looking toward heaven. That's allowing the Holy Spirit just to flow right through you. Now that the world that's lost and dying might see Jesus on you. Lift up your head. Lift up your head. Lift up your head so ye can.
please be seated. I want to dedicate this song to everyone that might be here that might have served in the armed forces. It's because of you we have the freedom of religion. God bless the USA. Worship with us, will you? If tomorrow all the things were gone I worked for all my life Then I had to start again With just my family and my wife I thank my God above To be living here today Where the flag still stands for freedom And they can't take that away Drop 
for us and begin to cool them flames. And those children got so happy, they went strutting right through the fire. They just
may be seated. You're going to have to let this old lady get her breath. Oh, I'm thankful for the blood-bought church, and I'm a member of it. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Heavens, hallelujah, grandstand. Can't you see him? Praise his name. Everything he owned, Satan came and took it all. I think it's 
stand it anymore. And I left that place. And I walked out of there and I went home and I told my wife, I said, I'm going to board an airplane and I'm going to a camp meeting where my dad was preaching and I'm going to give my life to Jesus. She had a hard time believing that because I told her so many lies before how I was going to straighten up and how everything was going to be all right. But this time, Jesus had moved into my spirit. I want to tell you, moms and dads, I had people that wouldn't quit praying for me. When I was 29 years old and I met Jesus, it was because people had bombarded heaven all over this country for years and years and years. For the oldest son of the evangelist, Don Piper. And when I would be put in jail, they wouldn't quit praying. They would pray and they would bombard heaven. It didn't make any difference when I was put in the workhouse. What went on, they just kept praying. It didn't make any difference when I got picked up drunk or when I took drugs, they just kept praying. It didn't make any difference when I ran the cars off of the road and totaled them, they kept praying. When I wrecked a motorcycle running into a truck and flying through the air, they just kept praying. They wouldn't give up. When I was 29 years old, Jesus became real in my life. And I'm so privileged to stand here and tell you that since 1980, I've had the best days that I ever dreamed could be. I've gone farther. I've done more. I've seen more. I've experienced more joy. I've seen my family put back together. And I want you to know that Jesus can do the same for you. And you don't have to go through all that torture and all that torment. Just get the scales off and don't let Satan deceive you one more day. There was a time when I took this piece of sheet music and laid it on a bandstand and on the heading it was entitled London Derriere. Later I had a piece of sheet music that said Danny Boy on it. But a few years ago a gospel songwriter named Dottie Rambo took this beautiful ballad put Christian lyrics to it. She called it, He looked beyond my faults and saw my needs. This is my testimony. Tonight we play it for Jesus. Praise His name.
And I want to be used of Him. And I want all you people here tonight to be used of Him. And when you walk out of this building, I want your commitments to be deeper. I want you to be able to be sent by the Lord into the classrooms and into the factories and into the offices or whatever you might do. Be sent by the Lord and live the life that other people look at you and say, I've got to have what that person has. And that's the love of Jesus. I love him tonight. Hear my Lord. Send me.